47 navigating the wealth of information for new parents it is overwhelming we have expert help here and we're talking specifically this morning about transitioning to solid foods which can be frustrating and intimidating uh, but we, again expert help because you know Erica Ann from the Yummy Mummy Club welcome back to the show thank you and also Dr. Dina Kulik here with uh, tips for uh, feeding baby and introducing uh, solids to babies specifically eggs because Health Canada actually changed the guidelines they and the did. recommendations yes they did so recently we're knowing now that that introducing allergenic food early, things like eggs and wheat and fish and other highly allergenic foods actually decreases the risk of allergies if done early on, ideally around six months of age. Okay, this is actually, um, there was a misconception that yeah. actually the opposite was true. That's right, so when I was growing up we thought delaying it till after a year, even two years of age, those, those allergenic foods would actually decrease the risk. Not so, introducing them early is a better thing. Oh. So this is really big news actually mm -hmm. because new moms never know what to do. It's probably yeah. one of the most stressful things about being a new mom is what do I feed my new kid when? And um, this, I mean, thanks to the Egg Farmers of Canada who are actually taking the time to put us on the road and to tell people about this because moms need to know the importance of when to feed new foods and when not to need fo uh, introduce new mm -hmm. foods. And eggs is a big one because they're so healthy that the babies have been missing out of all this protein and the choline. Yeah, choline's amazing really for brain great growth. For their brains. Yeah. So, and you know, a lot of foods are not as iron uh, Rich, filled yeah. mm -hmm. as eggs. So we've been feeding our baby all this cereal. But you're cereal. right, there's been so much mm -hmm. paranoia about, you know, what to, what to introduce, you know, uh, for our diets alone, right. but then with babies, you know, yeah. it's just you know up uh, several notches. Right. It takes down the scare factor, the fear factor of what to introduce when. Basically, introduce all new foods. Yeah. You know, spread it out every couple of days a new food, but around four to six months of age is perfect. The no, only thing to delay is honey after a year of age. That's the one hard oh, yeah? rule. That's right. Okay. Yes. Tell them why. So honey <laughs> introduces the risk of botulism infections. Oh, okay. So that's a big bad thing, and that probably won't change anytime soon. So delaying it till after a year is perfect. Good to know. Mm -hmm. But again, uh, with with uh, eggs, again, that will actually prevent egg allergy correct, by introducing correct. It's it protective. It's not 100% protective, but right. it helps. It helps. Right. It helps yeah. mitigate that, yeah. Exactly. Moms are thrilled with this information because preparing eggs is so easy. Right. Again, one of the most difficult parts about being a mom is what do I feed my kids every day? So with babies, now you have an additional food, like scrambled eggs. For so sure. easy. Kids can hold it, small, soft good for them. And yeah. any meal too, right? It's great for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's really no limitations. Right. How do we uh, know when uh, uh, babies are ready for solid foods? Are there signs there? So right. Absolutely. So a lot of kids start to coo or even get angry at you when they see you eating. My, my middle guy, Ryan, he's now three, but when he was like three and a half, four months, he started getting like actually angry when he saw us eating. We're like, okay, you're ready. They might be grabbing your spoon. They might be, you know, cooing, getting irritated. They might be kind of sitting up and trying to get closer to you while you're eating. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, but yeah, the, the head movement is important, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so they want to have a little bit of head control. They're holding their head up, okay. Totally. Yeah, yes, absolutely. So we used to say like when they're sitting completely independently, that's a little bit you know old school as well. So my yeah. kids were not fully sitting up when we introduced solids, yeah. but they were supportive enough that they can you know be part of the interaction, yeah. not just be. I wasn't sure about this. I wasn't even allowed to hold the baby. Mm -hmm. so. But <laughs> what's really important though is the size of the solids that you're giving yes. these yes. kids, right? So it's like mm -hmm. the size of your my picky finger fingernail is what I say. So I introduce like mushy foods, pureed foods to start, mm -hmm. but very quickly and work on towards like chunkier foods, bigger consistency. This size is perfect. You're not going to choke on this size. Yep. And, that's and not perfectly, steps. yeah, not perfectly circular either. So you always want to make sure, I mean, the trachea and the esophagus, oh, the, okay. the feeding tube and, and, and breathing tube is circular. So things like a grape, for example, oh, if it got point. lodged, can be quite dangerous. Okay. So you want to cut it into a, either puree or cut it into a certain shape? Yeah, or, or a smaller shape, not a, a perfect circle. Or? Not like a perfect arrows? circle. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want to do fancy. Whatever. Yes. I'm not that fancy, <laughs> but yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. So uh, we'll look up the website because again, there's great recipes to yes. uh, incorporate this, and of course, it's just a long list of uh, you know, the okay. obvious, you know, nutritional benefits to eggs. Okay. But good to know that we can introduce okay. them early. Just not the honey. That's Hold right. the honey. That's right. <laughs> Eggs.ca/baby. Okay. And again, uh, the Yummy Mummy Club. We got to plug that because uh, it, it's huge. It's huge, and it's also filled with great information yes. for new moms. We also. We're very excited about these new recommendations, so we've written about it because we want all the moms to know about this. It's gonna make their life easier and it's gonna make their children healthier. So supplement with eggs in yeah. your children's diet. It's really important, baby's diet mm -hmm. especially. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, it's great just to have these uh, guidelines because again, it is overwhelming on totally. uh, you know what to do and what not to do. So thanks mm -hmm. for your expert help. Thanks, all right, quick break, we'll tell you what's on tomorrow's uh, Morning Live right after this.
this program.